Today we're going to continue with activity 2.1, keep me in the loop, and we're going to focus on the extension portion of this activity, or part two. So in order to get into our keep me in the loop program, we're going to need to open up our App Inventor designer window in a new tab or window, and go to our appinventor.mit.edu. You'll log in using your Google student email address, click on create apps, and then you're going to go ahead and click on your project, keep me in the loop. Once your project opens up, go ahead and test it. You may have already noticed that there's a bug in our program. We need to get that red line to trace directly behind the bus's route to line up with the center of the road for our journey from the school to the museum. In order to correct our bug, we must look at the move forward procedure. Here we can identify that the call canvas one draw line command needs to be modified. What we learned in a previous activity is that all sprites use the upper left hand corner in order to draw lines or connect to other sprites. This is the same in this case. When we are drawing our line, we are using the upper left hand corner of our sprite. Therefore, our line is off center. We'll need to modify those four commands in order to move that line to the center of our sprite. In order to fix our code, we need to modify the following lines of code. Let's take a look at our X1 and Y1 slots. Here we're getting our line initial X and the line initial Y, and we're gonna to need to change that to add the value to get the line initial X and add that to the school bus's width and then divide that by two. We'll do the same thing for our Y1. We'll get the line initial Y, and then we'll go ahead and add that to the school bus's height and divide that by two. By doing that, That'll change our variable to take half the width and half the height of our school bus, and that should hopefully go ahead and place that line directly in the middle. We'll then go ahead and take our X2 and Y2 coordinates, and we're going to change that from school bus X and school bus Y to adding the school bus X to the school bus's width divided by 2, and taking the school bus's Y and adding that to the school bus's height and dividing that by 2. By doing both of those, we are creating starting and ending points for our line. That will help us to draw the line and center it in the middle of our screen. You still may need to make some small adjustments to your school bus sprite to get it directly in the middle of the map, but this will center your line so that it follows directly behind the bus. Let's go ahead and jump over to our MIT App Inventor and modify our Call Canvas 1 draw line. Once you're over in your MIT App Inventor, we're going to need to go ahead and navigate over to our block view. From here, we're going to be going ahead and modifying that move forward procedure. Now, as you'll notice that our move forward procedure is already collapsed for us. So we're going to need to go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of room here. Go ahead and double click on that procedure and it should open up for you. Here, what we're going to be looking at is just modifying that draw line on our canvas one. And we're going to need to modify the X1, Y1, X2, and Y2 blocks. So in order to do this, basically what we're going to be doing is taking the width and the height of our school bus and dividing that by two. We'll then go ahead and add the result of that to our X1, Y1, X2, and Y2 variables. So I'm going to go ahead and go to our math drawer and we're going to go ahead and grab an addition block. From here, we're going to go ahead and duplicate that three additional times since we're going to be using it in all of those variables. The next thing we're going to need to do is pull out everything that is already in that X1, Y1, X2, and Y2 variables. Once you drop them into the addition block, you can go ahead and plug them back in their correct place. The next step of this is going ahead and taking the school bus's width as well as the height and dividing that by two. So again, we're going to need to go to that math block and grab a couple division blocks. So we'll go ahead and duplicate that three additional times, just, just as we did before. We'll then go ahead back to that math drawer and we're gonna grab a zero block. And from here, we'll go ahead and replace that with the number two. And again, we'll go ahead and duplicate that a couple different times. Go ahead and plug that into the back end of that division block. Once you have those twos plugged in, the next step is to go and add the school bus's width as well as the height. So we're going to go ahead and just duplicate our school bus X. And by doing that, we could then go ahead and change that X variable over to our width. Now, once we change that over to the width, we're going to need to duplicate that one more time because width is going to be identified by that X variable. Go ahead and duplicate that again. And now this time we're going to go ahead and change that over to the school bus height. 
Go ahead and duplicate that one more time, and we're going to plug that in for our Y coordinates. Now, once you have them plugged in, we're going to go ahead and put them into that back end of that addition block. So as you can see, we've now taken our school bus's width, divide that by two, as well as the school bus's height and divided that by two. Once you have those commands placed into your program, go ahead over to your app companion and test it out. Once you're in your MIT app companion, it's time to go ahead and test your app. What we should see when we hit the start button is that that red line should follow behind that school bus and it should be somewhere in the middle of that road. So let's go ahead and click on the start button and see what happens. Here you can see that our line is now positioned perfectly behind the school bus. We still have it a little bit off center, but that's pretty acceptable for the resolution of your computer. If you'd like to tweak your line a little bit more, go ahead and play around with those four coding blocks that we adjusted previously.